Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that are important to us but may not be important to you. I am host. But they should be. They should be. <laughs> that sounds like a th- <laughs> you sound like a serial killer. <laughs> they should be. Uh, 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 doll. They should yeah. be. Can you find her? I sent you all the clues. Uh, <laughs> right? Oh my God. In 18 hours, she will die. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, well, it's Halloween, right? right. Um, uh, anyway, Halloween, I, primer. This Halloween, is our primer. Halloween primer. I am host one of three, Luis Delatorre. I am host two of three, Daikaiji Tony. And I am host seven of nine. You have to, see, you have to, you have to keep saying seven. Adam Crim. Do you have to keep ruining <laughs> Jerry Ryan for me? Oh, wait, that's what you're referencing? Yeah. Yeah. Every, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Every time you hear the number seven, I either think of Ultra Seven or the seven up guy who has this scary laugh who goes, ah, ha, 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 Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, that's there. who I think about on the constant basis the yeah, seven up his, guy. <laughs> yes. What is his name? He's great. He's great, actually. Yeah. The, the big tall guy. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right. Anyway, uh, before we go on, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics. Right. The J E W E L of the Mojave Desert. Wait, J E. Okay, no. <laughs> Did it I took, yeah, actually took me a second too. Yeah, I was I like, wait, said what? J A. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the? Okay. You made me you made me <laughs> doubt my spelling for like just a second. Like, did I spell that right? Uh, anyway, we have any anything and everything that your heart could ever desire. Let's show them some of the stuff that we have available. What you got? Since it is now the later half of September, to me that's the spooky season. It, Spooktober Ooh. has started. You know, you're the you're the kind of person who complains about why is there Christmas in November, but you're totally fine with Halloween in September. I, I wait till September fifteenth. Well, Halloween's like oh. almost, that's, that's the beginning of Spooktober. <laughs> Halloween's like almost every week for me. So that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> so I wanted to show off a couple. Well, it's actually kind of variations of the same game, but it's a great game called yeah. Werewolf. Do you Daybreak do you break and Werewolf Dark Knight? One Dark Knight. Yeah. Let me ask a question about yeah. Werewolf. This yes. Werewolf game. Are you a thirty something that wants to fight with your thirty something friends at your dinner party? <laughs> Just yell at each other and argue. Yeah. Werewolf. Werewolf. Yeah. Werewolf is the game we, for that. We actually played the Rick and Morty version, which is great. Oh yeah, the uh, Total Recall. Total Recall. Yeah. yeah. Very similar game. But yeah. I always accuse the uh, one of our friends of being <laughs> right. <laughs> She and then, of course, it. we also have some Dorbs, which are produced by Funko. Cool little jack-o'-lantern guy and a very adorable, which he should never be adorable, but he is a very adorable Jack Torrance. <laughs> Jeez, can I see that? <laughs> From The Shining, yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Gee. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Tee <Here's> Johnny. <laughs> Tee <Tee-hee. laughs> All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Tee hee. <laughs> Tee hee. What do you get? Oh, speaking of werewolves, here's a comic book by Avatar Press. <laughs> Barrels. Yeah. Barrels. Which is probably, I don't know. I, I read through this, and it's a shame it got canceled because I know they're building up to like a whole full fledged werewolf invasion right. comic. But yeah, it's by Avatar. So which can expect- mean a lot of things. <laughs> Just to let you know, a lot of Avatar gore. also put out Crossed. Yeah. Yes. Gore, <laughs> nudity, it's right. all there. It's all there. Yeah. Maybe a combination of those two sometimes. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I chose to undermine the assignment. I didn't get anything scary. Uh, being that Shang-Chi and The just Legend of the Ten out. Rings yep. just came out, you can impress your friends with your knowledge of the character you never knew existed until now <laughs> with a Master of Kung Fu Marvel Epic, Epic collection. collection. Now, I, I read these when I was much yeah. younger. I bought yeah. them at a yard sale, all out of order, so I never had a complete story. That's how Damn. all of us were introduced to comics originally. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but if you Not didn't, you. I, I can at least say I knew of Shang-Chi. Right. Um, but uh, if you don't and you want to pretend like you do, here's this Epic nice, collection. beautiful yeah. Epic Collection, all comics from... Uh, the seventies, it looks like. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, yeah, so there you go. Impress your friends with your master of kung fu knowledge. knowledge yeah, uh, you knowledge. can find all these things well, and more. Actually... <laughs> That's the only reason I walk classes <laughs> is to correct people. And <laughs> well, you see, um, we have all these things and more, and G fuel. We have G fuel, guys. Yes. Um, so if Inject you're inter- into your blood. So if you're interested in anything comic we booky, do. why don't you come on down, uh, uh, look around, spend some money, let us know what a great job you're doing. We have a knowledgeable staff, so you can always ask them any questions that you have. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, Tony's kidding. right there, dude. <laughs> knowledgeable <laughs> no, about you what? Know, you know what's funny, though, mm-hmm. is we were talking about this the other day. We'll get customers that'll come in, they'll ask, and they'll be looking for Godzilla stuff and ask for Godzilla stuff when Tony and me are not here. And then, like... 
when I'm here or you're here, they'll come in and want to know like old DC stuff. And I was never a DC guy as a kid. I can so much. yeah, and it's just oh, it always works out that way. Or they'll ask something like you don't know, and the person that knows that isn't here, and it's just like whenever I do, whenever belong, a little yeah. kid does buy a Godzilla figure, it makes me feel a little yeah, warmth in my yeah. heart. Yeah, guys, if you have Godzilla yeah. questions, wait for wait till Tony's here. Yes. Wait yep. until Tony's here. Yeah. Hey. Um, <laughs> well, well you, did, you, you, you did beat me in the trivia. Yeah, so. well, there's that, and also he's mostly at the front. I think he's the face That's most true. people see when they come in. So more he's, off, more often than yeah, me. more often than not, Tony's the friendly face you'll probably see when you come in. True. So yeah, come on down, ask any questions, spend some money, right, let us yes. know we're doing a good job, yeah. providing you with cool stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so. The spooky season is coming, or what you call right. it? Your spooktacular? Spooktober. Spook. I don't know. I mean, I heard that. I actually heard that on another YouTube channel. So if you guys trademark that, I'm sorry. You guys are awesome. Um, here's you a, copy here's a plug them. for Outside Xbox. Oh, is that what, okay. It's a great channel. But I think that was actually coined before them. I think, I, but I'm not sure. But mm. Spooktober, yeah, is several months long. Okay. So. Cool. So we're, what we're going to talk about for Spooktober? Can we, should we call it something else? And s- uh, Creeptober? Creeptober. You have to say it like Dracula. Creepto- <laughs> well, say it, Tony. Creep- let's, call it, let's call it Spooktober until uh, we find out actually where I it like came from. Well, then again, Adam Sandler did voice um, Dracula in Hotel Transylvania, he so I could, I, could, I could say that in any other Adam Sandler voice I want to. So um, nice. Go ahead, dude. Go for it. Spooktober! Yeah! <laughs> I think that's just a regular Adam Sandler voice. Okay, fine. Here's Adam Sandler from, <laughs> from Uncut Gems. Okay. Spooktober. <laughs> if, if you've seen Uncut Gems, watch it. <laughs> That's supposed to be very good. It I haven't watched though. it, but I'll take your word for it. Okay. so <laughs> I'll just keep calling it Creeptober like this. Spooktober. 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 Anyway, we are here to give you some <laughs> recommendations to kick off your Halloween. Halloween primer. Movie primers. Yeah, to yep. kick off your yes. Halloween. Some good, awesome horror movies. Well, we yeah. think they're awesome. You yeah. may or may not think so. Or you may not have... You may not have watched any of these movies. Right. You can totally try them out and see if you like them. The first yes. one we're going to talk about is Double Dragon. There's no movie scarier <laughs> than Mark DeCosco's and Scott Wolf's <laughs> foray into video <laughs> games. That is Double Dragon. <laughs> Alyssa <laughs> Milano's in it. And this is back when Mark DeCosco had hair. And this Rob, is back when Mark DeCosco. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Robert Patrick is... <laughs> Oh, he he is in it. chewing up some scenery. That movie. He's probably the him and Alyssa <laughs> Milano's presence are probably like the best parts of the movie. Yeah, that's about yeah. it. Anyway, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who wants to start uh, their recommendation <laughs> primer here for Halloween for Creeptober? Creeptober. Do you want to go? Uh, Tony? You want to lead us off? Uh, okay. Yeah, lead us off. I'll man. start off with Got my good taste. Favorite Halloween movie by John Carpenter: Halloween Three: Season of the Witch. Yeah. Woo! yeah. This movie. Man, it's it's something else. Like, Not to be confused with the movie that Robert Ron Perlman was in, wait, which I think is also Season of the Witch, wasn't it? Uh, there's a, I well, know there's an, an old Romero movie called no, Season no, no, of the Witch. I as know, well. I know that there's oh, okay. there's a movie Ron Perlman was in where they were knights transporting a witch. I think that was also called Season of the Witch. Oh, uh, I don't even know about that. Yeah, one. I'll look it up. But go ahead. I'm know. sorry. Okay, so here's my argument of why this is the best Halloween I'm, movie. I'm with by you, by the John way. I, I do like that. Okay. Well, he didn't direct it, though. John Carpenter? But he produced it. Oh, yeah, produced. but And did the soundtrack, I think. Yes, he did the soundtrack, and I honestly like that theme song more than the Michael Myers theme song. Wow. wow. Um, it is good, though. It is good. Oh, it is called Season of the Witch, and Nick Cage is also in it. Wow. Yes. Like, I immediately jumped to Ron oh, yeah. Perlman. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Go, go ahead, Tony. Okay. So, the first Halloween movie is scary because it's a plausible situation. There's a psychopathic murderer going after babysitters. Yes. Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. My God. Like, <laughs> evil corporate greed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Security all over the place. Like, like yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's, the, what's the term? Um, yeah. Surveillance. Surveillance society. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, th- um, not, not a lot of people know that... Th- the original plans for Halloween Correct. Yeah, I know were that they were supposed to be different movies every, every movie. year. It was right. supposed to be an anthology, yes. Yeah, right. an anthology movie series. Right. Mm-hmm. And It makes more was, sense because I didn't was, know that, and then this movie to, came out. I'm like, what happened? What this, happened to the series? <laughs> this was, this was, uh, this was uh, him trying to get it back on track, but it didn't work because I don't mm-hmm. think it did well. Do we yeah. all have a John Carpenter movie? Go, huh? Do we all have a John Carpenter movie on our list? I don't think I you do. You do. I I'm do. Not sure I don't you. think I do. Okay, I'm sorry. Continue. I won't. Uh, sorry. Um, what else? It takes place during Halloween, so it works. Yes. It's yeah. about the day yeah. of Halloween. Uh huh. Um, makes fun of rampant commercial commercialism with the show of a Samurai song being all over the place. Yeah. I get like, it. yeah. <laughs> uh, Six more days till Halloween. 
<laughs> what else? Go ahead, Tony. Dick Warlock as a robot. That's right. Yeah. Dick Warlock does play a robot. He's probably most famously known for being Kurt Russell's stunt double in almost everything Kurt Russell's and done. He was, His name makes me giggle. <laughs> yeah. He was one of the people who played Michael Myers in the first movie since in the first movie Michael Myers was. Yeah, he did the stunts, right? Yeah. Michael Myers was like four different guys. Yeah. That's why like yeah, his yeah. height changed throughout the movie. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, and most of all, the ending. The, okay, well, first of all, the movie has the balls to kill off kids. <laughs> yes, all right? it does. <laughs> very brutally. Yes. Yeah, very brutally. <laughs> and the ending is, like, left really ambiguous if the channels were turned off or not and if millions of kids around the world died or not. <laughs> give give yeah. people who haven't seen it, like, just, like, a little bit of, like, a rundown of, like, what this movie is, is about. Oh, yeah, basically, it's about a doctor who sent a woman who was significantly younger than him. Um... It's the same guy who played the uh, the police officer from Night at the Creek. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's a uh, Ad- Tom. Uh, Tom Atkins. Tom Atkins. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he, he always gets cast as like a an older guy who just happens to get like a, a lot of younger women. Yeah. And he makes jokes about that in some of the uh, in some of the different. Uh, that could be life imitating art. Commentaries. That could be life imitating art. Yeah, that that could does, be life yeah. imitating art. We well, that's know. no. He that is so far from the truth. He goes, <laughs> and but that's what I seem to be. No. What happened? No. Uh, we're good. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Oh, that, that was that, weird. That scared Tom me. Atkins that, that scared is... me, too. Okay. For all we know, Tom Atkins could be a 60 to 70 year old sex machine. We well, don't he, know. He is now. Damn. <laughs> but here, here's the funny thing. During, okay, during the sex scene of Halloween 3, the woman, okay, while, while he was with the young woman in one room, the woman in the other room who's getting her mouth zapped was <laughs> right. his wife. It was actually his wife yeah. in real life. That's right, yeah. <laughs> the that cad. Was, that was actually his wife, yeah. Oh, okay. his actual wife. His yes. real wife. Oh, that's yeah, cool. That's, yeah. so, that's, yeah. I didn't know that. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. So the rundown is basically Tom Atkins plays a doctor. He's investigating this company that's producing these masks with these chips on them. And at the same, at the same time, which I really... I find funny that in the beginning of the movie, you hear a news report about Stonehenge going missing. Right. And, like... One of, the, one of the stones from Stonehenge is missing. Yeah. yeah. And, it's basically, the, this company owned by a guy named Cockerham, he made these chips out of the Stonehenge that basically microwaves the kid's <laughs> head and, like, makes them puke bugs and snakes out of their heads. Yeah, it's like an ancient Celtic spell or something. Yeah. yeah. And at the same time... It's, it's like, bizarre. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, of course. One of the funniest parts is that, like, oh, you wouldn't believe how we got that out of there. I'm like... Okay, that, that's probably should be left. <laughs> that's all they say. Yeah, that's all they say. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, just really great movie. Like, un- really underrated. So it's it's, sh- it's more fun than anything. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely a, it's definitely the movie you want to like a movie you want to riff on with friends for sure. Yeah, I but have, it's also, I have one of those movies. It's also on like has some generally unsettling y- scenes. Yeah. like it's just like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, for yeah. sure it does. Yeah, yeah. It's it's two kinds of movies that make yeah. a really good movie. Yep. Yeah. 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 Or an entertaining movie, I should say. Right. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. You want to go next? You want me to go? Ah, whatever you want. I can go next Uh, if you'd like. uh, Did you? Did you freeze? (laughs) Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, The one of the the movies I have on my list is one of my absolute favorites, which is 1985's Reanimator. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Based on an H.P. Lovecraft story called Frank West. Reanimator. Herbert West. Or I'm sorry. Frank West is from Dead Rising. Right. Frank. Right. <laughs> Herbert West. Herbert Re-animator, West yeah. reanimator, right. I don't know why it was I don't oh, know why. Which, you know what? You know what? That's probably why. Yeah. It's if it was the Frank, Frank West, West and then zombies and all the zombies yeah. himself. Yeah. Uh this movie came out in nineteen eighty five. It is based on that HP Lovecraft short story yeah. uh about a guy who uh creates a serum that can bring dead things the back, dead to life. back to life. Yep. It's kind of a twist on Frankenstein in a way. Kind yeah. of, yeah. yeah. It is uh, very much a cheesy kind of horror movie, but mm-hmm. cheesy in so many of the right ways. With Jeffrey Combs, man. Jeffrey yep. Combs is, as, it as Herbert f- West. If Holy crap! It wasn't crap. for him. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was like a. He was a jerk, and he he was very much oh, yeah, like a Frank, like a Frankenstein, a yeah. Doctor Frankenstein uh-huh. for sure. And the fact that multiple people got infected in this movie. Like, yeah, yeah, and then of course uh, uh, David Gale, who portrays the sever- <laughs> the head that has been brought oh, back yeah. to life and of Doctor Carl uh, Hill. And yeah. the great scene where he gives head a head giving head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. And um, I think, and I think uh, what's her name? Uh, what is it? Barbara, Barbara Crampton. Crampton? Yes, Barbara Crampton. Yeah, she, she's, she's awesome. gorgeous. But she talks about how her. I think she's talking about how her grandmother wanted to see that movie, and she's like, No, 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 you don't want to see this you movie. <laughs> Just because of that seat or something, sure, yes. yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, it is a, it is like a. I wouldn't even say it's creepy. I think just it's very, 
It, like, how, like, how do I describe it's, it? It's, it's it's sort of insane. It's, it's sort <laughs> yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. It's a it's, crazy movie. But it has a really unique and sort of uncomfortable yeah. feeling to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Which makes it work great. It, it's unsettling. Because it is silly. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, the, it yeah, is unsettling. Yeah, yeah it's like unsettling, the, but you yeah. can't just keep you can't keep yeah, your eyes yeah. off of it. I'm it's, like, whoa. Yeah. yeah, it's really it's it's yeah. very good. Like yeah. it's this movie. Charles I, Band, I, baby. I cannot correctly pinpoint how to best describe this right. movie, but I think that's what makes it so great. Yeah. Um, but I love it. Um, I love it yeah. It's one of my I favorites. I watch too, it every Halloween. Sometimes yeah. I, it won't be my Halloween. I'll watch it. More like my, one of my favorite scenes where uh, the, the headless guy, the, the headless body, just ends up getting a mannequin <laughs> head and <laughs> yeah. right. try sneaking past them. <laughs> Sneak a pad, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That 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 more sounds like someone's game of a uh, of a uh, Call of Cthulhu right there. Right. It's like I'm gonna try to sneak down the hallway. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, yeah, good stuff. Man. Yeah, it's one of uh, my absolute favorite it's a classic. Uh, horror it's movies. An 80s and it's and it's a classic, yeah, and yeah. you should definitely check it out. Yeah. So awesome. All right, my first one, I'm going to go way back to, I don't remember the year. I should, probably should look that up. 1956, I think. Um, it is known in the United States from a different title. The original title in the UK or in Europe is simply just Dracula. It is a retelling of the uh, novel. Um, in the U.S., it's known as Horror of Dracula, starring the incomparable Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. Yes. Um, Hammer Horror at its finest. They're like the super friends. And, like, yeah, yeah. and they were good friends in real life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Um, name, name a more iconic duo. I'll wait. Yeah, no kidding, right? Um, no, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> there is none. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's, 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 it's a really good telling of the novel. I mean, some things are different, of course. I mean, I don't think there's anything that's that I strict to the novel. I think... The closest to being a book character one was not the not the BBC one that was in Netflix, the BBC one before that. But I think the big difference yeah, is that from Dracula, the nineties, right? Yeah, but the big difference is that Dracula lives in the end of that one. Right. That's yeah. like the only But it's one. very yeah, it's very Yeah, faithful. But this one I, I don't know, this one always I guess a little personal backstory. I actually genuinely love the novel Dracula. Hmm. Um I don't know a lot of people that do. <laughs> I read it I, in middle school. I, I was forced to read it in middle school, mm. and I freaking remember. Oh, wait, forced I, to read it? Yeah, it was just one of the required assignments. Reading I didn't it. think about oh, it. I wish that was an assignment for me. Yeah, I me actually, too. I actually originally read a classics illustrated. I actually, I, I, and then I actually was. I think the next year had to read it for an oh, assignment. You needed pictures. Because I probably would have. No, it was like the next year. Pictures too. And I just I remember liking it, and then I I think I had a class in high school where I had to read it again. I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> like I just I like general, and I've always liked that book. So, um, I I think this movie for me, of all the different incarnations and versions of Dracula I've watched, I still just I still gravitate to the Peter Cushing Christopher Lee version. Mm. You know, I think Christopher Lee physically just matches a lot of my mental image of what I always thought Dracula should look like. Yeah. Great hair. You know, um, Peter Cushing as Van Helsing is definitely different from the book, but he's Peter Cushing. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cushing's awesome. Peter Cushing yeah. just saved the world. Right, totally. Right. He's very got very saved the world right. energy. Yeah. Even in bad movies, he's awesome. The the finale is markedly different than the book. However, it does feel more like the ending of the book. And I only say that because the book, the finale in the book is actually one of the better finales mm. in a book it, yeah. it's it's cinematic in the way it's written it yeah. feels like you're watching a movie and i think like this version of dracula has that sort of like this struggle and this fight and then boom 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 and then it just freaking happens and you're just like yeah i got him you know yeah. it's like and you don't like a lot of dracula movies just don't have that oh yeah <laughs> no, they the like, book has they that always and portray the, and that yeah they always portray him as more of like a very romantic it's character a, maybe more of like an erotic character as right. opposed oh, to yeah. an imposing Good character one. well and one of the things and this i learned this much later is one of the things in the hammer dracula was you know dracula's power it is sex right i mean it's all about sex so, <laughs> yeah. it's, sure but the, like i mean there's like an undertone yeah. really in there you know what i mean and yeah. like a lot of the modern day draculas are usually yeah. like it's more romantic yeah Damn it, Anne Rice. Yeah. <laughs> Her early books are great, but she really kind of she what? really she's she's responsible indirectly for Twilight. <laughs> she okay. was part I, of it. I did not need to know that. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Thanks for ruining she's Anne not Rice actually me. responsible. The early Anne Rice I'm books sh- are actually really. Yeah, good. I'm yes, sure she's probably really inspired. Good. 
but, Stephanie Meyer to write this. But I, yeah. I guarantee when you look at the history of sort of horror novels and vampire novels, you can see how we got from yeah, <laughs> Anne Rice's early books to Twilight. To, yeah. yeah. Lestat is one of my favorite vampires of all time. Yeah, yeah. A fu- um, funny anecdote about that movie, it was the inspiration for the D&D's Turn Undead feature that the cleric has. Hmm. A lot of people didn't know that. I didn't know that. When you mean the out, hammer one? Yeah. Oh, okay. When nice. he pulled out the crucifix on uh, right. on Dracula, and Dracula was like that. That was they had gotten the idea for Turn Undead. Nice. From that movie. Nice. At least from what I've heard, um, the stories that I've heard. Yeah, I didn't know that. Like if cool. I ever became a vampire, I'd be like Lestat. I'd turn into a freaking rock star. <laughs> <laughs> right. You, I would just be Dio. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Heck yeah. Right. Yeah. JoJo's the player. world, and then just stop time. All right. What's your <laughs> next? That's what vampires do. What's your next pick, Tony? Oh, me? Oh, did we already cycle through? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. We uh, yeah, we did. All right. Sam Raimi's magnum opus, Evil Dead 2. Yeah. yeah. Is that his magnum opus? It's I'd my it version of his magnum opus. It's yeah. definitely a great movie. Yeah, like, Evil Dead 2. Basically the first movie, but in a somewhat higher budget, but not high enough to be, you know. Bad. <laughs> yeah. But like, high, not. It's, it's still somewhat low enough to yeah. feel cheesy like a camp film, but high enough to be, oh my God, look at Much all this blood and gore and all these effects yeah. and all that. Yeah. yeah, Evil Dead 2. Oh, man. I love that movie. Yeah. And it's of course, tra- Bruce Campbell. Yes, Bruce yeah. Campbell. I love Bruce Campbell. Yeah, he's, he's just a fantastic human being. Yes. He's, like the, he's like the best in anything. I could watch him in yeah. anything. Especially, well, seeing where he severs his hand and he goes after his hand. <laughs> yeah. He just, it, that movie really strikes a balance between weird slapstick and just flat out horror. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes in the same scene where you're like horrified, but yet it's funny too. <laughs> Yes. Like especially when he's going crazy in the living room, it's just like, dear God! Yeah, like, oh my God! Yeah. Yeah, like, I want to laugh, but I'm not sure if I should. Yeah. yeah. Or his his girlfriend like getting out of the grave and dancing for him, <laughs> yeah. and then yeah, like yeah. all of a sudden grabbing him, like that was freaky. And then all of a sudden, her head Come just here, like lover. her hand, her head just jump, drops out of nowhere, <laughs> bites his hand, which leads to him cutting yeah, off his hand. Yeah, but like, yeah. is he like? For like for a while, he's like smacking her head around and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're in a he's, slapstick part of he's running room. to the shed, hitting it. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> 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 yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It strikes a very good balance between. Yeah, and I've been an Evil Dead fan since I was maybe. Well, I think the f- I first saw Army of Darkness first, then I saw Evil Dead two, and yeah. I was like, yeah, what? I did the same thing when I first yeah. saw those movies. I had watched um Army of the and then I think at the same age I was playing Evil Army Dead video games on PS two. Being a being a teenager in the eighties, I was lucky enough to see them in order, but it was all VHS. Well, Army of Darkness I saw in the theaters, but I remember, you know, rented Evil Dead, and it was just like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> like, I was I remember thinking because I remember me and a friend stayed up late because we used to stay up late on Saturday nights and watch movies that we get, and like we were creeped out, but it was cheesy too. It was like yeah. this is so low budget, but then we're like, this is fucking creepy. It was great. It was really yeah, creepy. It was really, yeah, it's unsettling. And yeah. then of course we saw Evil Dead Two: Dead by Dawn, and that very, it's actually kind of a simple image with mm. the skull with the human eyes, but it's actually kind of weird. And so, yeah. We were like, we got to check that out. And I was just yeah. like... That was like right, I remember that being on the cover at the yeah. video store. Yeah. It was just the skull with the human eyes. Yeah, yeah, we were just... And, and the last settling. act. Last act of Evil Dead 2 is so awesome. Basically, yeah. Yeah, Bruce yeah. Campbell being a total badass by just yeah. plopping the he chainsaw just, in his hand. He accepts his fate. <laughs> and ring it. He has, has the king, baby. He has one-liners. Swallow this. Swallow this. And, and, ha- off, and it ends off. with one of the most screwed up downer endings ever. The prophecy comes true. He goes back in time. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Such uh, a great flick. It's a great movie, yeah. Yeah. I, I if can't you're ima- gonna watch it for any other reason than Bruce Campbell, too. Like yeah. Yeah, Bruce Campbell's just fantastic. I can't imagine anybody out there that loves horror hasn't seen this movie. By yeah. Now. Most people and I talk to talk about yeah. uh uh yeah. Even if you didn't like it, why you did had I to just forget it? the name of the movie? Our, Evil, Dead uh, Evil, Dead, Evil Dead, Evil Dead Two. Yeah, just a great remake, sort of, sort mm. of a remake. Yeah, <laughs> just because they didn't have the rights to the original yeah. movie. Well, that's what right. that's how Bruce Campbell explained it. Right. So what do you what do you got? Uh, you my number two. My number two is another movie from the eighties. It is the another John Carpenter movie that everyone might know called The Thing. Bum bum. Uh, which is adapted Not from a remake from the fifties film, but actually an adaptation of the original story, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, called "Who Goes There" yeah. by John W. Campbell Don, Jr. Yeah. Don, Don. AKA um, Don Stewart. Yeah. So, I mean, 
This this movie is it, it's got to be like a study for film students on like practical effects or should. something like it, or at least it should be and, and it should, suspense. Yes, right. It be a like study for suspense too. Yeah. Because yeah. My God, the way it's built up in certain scenes, especially. Yeah. It's, it's very the, much like yeah. The, no, deliber- the deliberator scene, the way that scene's built up. W- w- okay, it's especially like if you're someone who hasn't seen the film at all, or. Like you, you don't expect the guy with the right. heart condition to be the the thing, right? Yeah, you know. And then even even going back and watching it, you realize that when you understand what the thing is, the thing's probably as shocked as a human would be. Like, what's happening? Because right. it imitates you so perfectly, it imitated his heart condition. Yeah. So it was probably like, wait, what's going on? What? What's, yeah. What what's, do they do? What's happening? Yeah, yeah. What's happening? And, and then it feels it, so oh, good. And, and, yeah. And, and my and favorite it, part about that scene is like, it's poor Wilfred Brimley. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part. No, about that. it's uh, is that no, what? No, Wilfred no, it's Brimley's not Wilfred Brimley. The, the, the guy who the blonde guy who no no the guy who was who was no he didn't get his hands bit off. Brimley Brimley is the last thing actually. Wilfred Brimley is the last thing. Who yeah. was the guy who was who um, was? Who it's got, a Norris. Not no. Is it Norris? Yeah, I think its name is Norris. Oh, okay. He's got I, the little nose ring. Why, why did yeah. I remember it was the, the guy who got his arms bitten off? Yeah. And they had to get a double without arms. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but, but, um, my favorite part about that scene in particular, like the way it's built up, because the the guy who ran the kennel, he was like, he was pi- he was like pissed Clark, off. Clark, yeah. Clark, he was pissed off that all the dogs would right. died. So, and which he, that wasn't really a really creepy scene too. And he didn't he didn't trust um um McCready at all. So he. He he took a scalpel with him, and like the, the way the camera shot, like it's po- it's it's more focused on the scalpel and him, right. him going to stab him. But then all of a sudden, the defibrillator scene just comes out of nowhere. I'm like, what? And they're all just like, what? Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. yeah, it just yeah. takes you out of garden. Like, right. It is a masterwork in suspense, right? Yes. And and those practical effects just give it so much more. And yes, the, it's absolutely. They still hold up. I feel yes. like they still hold yeah. up for mm-hmm. sure. And the amazing thing I think about it is that if you think about it, if McCready was didn't get up to go get a beer, mm-hmm. he would have never heard the dogs freaking out. Yeah. And then the thing would have totally had the whole camp. Yep. But he happened to be up I mean, getting a beer, and he heard in I the mean, hallway. By the, the end, dogs he pretty out. much did, didn't he? I mean, the only two people left were uh, McCready well, and um, well, Child. I mean, it would, it would uh, Child, yeah, which but, is Keith David's character. But Child's, well, he... <laughs> He was missing for a while. Um, yeah, that's yeah. true. And the jack. Okay, the shot were. Um, okay, so before um, the power completely went off, um, there was a shot of child like like in front of the door like this. There's a lot of and like, um, with with, it, with the jacket, right? Yeah, you yeah. can analyze a and lot then, of those scenes. And he, right after that, with that same shot recreated, the jacket's missing. So. Yeah, when you when you see child standing there, he's wearing a blue jacket, mm. which is one thing. But the behind him, there's boots lined up, and yeah. there's like there's a blue jacket, and I want to say two brown jackets or something like uh-huh. that. And then when you see the door open and Childs is missing, a bl- the blue jacket's missing, and the brown jackets are still there, but the boots are all kicked around. Oh. And then the jacket he's wearing in the that. final scene is actually different than the jacket he's wearing when he's standing was there that, looking out the window. Was that? I, I never noticed I that. Was that know. by design? John Carpenter does not fess up to any of that stuff. I think some of it, honestly, might be accidental or continuity errors. Sure. That they just sort of But, I mean, past. it works. It works. Yeah. Right. If we're yeah. wondering about it, then something but, about it works. You know, the thing is, and I didn't realize this till I watched, I think you probably watched a similar video where they were talking about all these little things like you can research is there's a door open behind childs you can see the light coming in mm-hmm. i didn't realize that i was like oh crap yeah he could have easily got snuck up behind yeah so yeah wow crazy but there's a lot of those kind of things you can actually search up it's crazy yeah i that movie is very good at building up like yeah. tension with sus- with the suspense and then hitting you with like the horror right like hitting you with like the dogs or like the guy's chest opening up and yeah, that right. kind of stuff it's it's a fantastic and, movie, and, he, and those like, effects are even, wonderful. Even when you're rewatching it, like the blood test with Palmer, yeah, and he's getting ready to do it, and Palmer's just it's like he knows he's like, well, yeah, found out. Yeah. You know, he's like just like his Dang look on his it. face, like yeah. right, right after that whole debacle where you know he <laughs> mutates, um, right. got the, one of the other guys dies and yeah. mutates too, and Windows, yeah, Win- Windows dies, he has to be burned. Palmer's body gets blown up with TNT, and I. But like yeah. right after like it's funny the scene like they're pointing flamethrowers <laughs> on each other like right. every time they pass the test right, like, right. flamethrower now that we know it works yeah, yeah. and then um, um um 
I think one thing I think, and this is why I think the the prequel from 2012, I think it is, right. doesn't hold up, is because when you when you if you analyze the behavior of the thing in mm-hmm. the John Carpenter version, it, it's an ambush predator, and it will not attack unless it believes it can successfully, basically absorb you and imitate you, and the only reason it gets found out. Two times it's because somebody one time because McCready happened to overhear the dogs. The second time was because Windows walked back in on uh Bennings when he was getting absorbed. Right. So it never got to completely finish. And then of course the last the the other time was uh um what we just talked about when Parker gets yeah. the test the or test, whatever yeah. and he's like, God dang it. You know? It's just it. It really it. Its behavior makes sense. Mm-hmm. And then in other movies, of course, it's just outrageous and silly and doesn't make yeah, any it just sense. Breaks yeah. out of the ice just because yeah. the ice was melting a little right. bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. and if it if it didn't if it I, couldn't freeze, why would it have let itself be frozen? <laughs> Things like that. I yeah. wish every time I yeah. watched it was like the first time I watched it because I think that movie is again yeah. it's so good at building up suspense and wonder and then hitting you with something right. scary. I, I, uh, actually, I actually force myself to watch it only once a year now because I was watching it too much and I don't want to... You don't want to ruin yeah, it. I yeah. don't want to ruin it. Yeah. So now, I'm, now I'm anxious to see it and we're almost there. Funny anecdote, you have the board game. Yes. And we played it. We got two it. versions of the board game. We have the Thing board game and Who Goes There, the board game. Which one's the one we played? We played both, but I don't know if you we were We played the non-movie version. The who when goes I was there. there. The who goes there. I saw, okay. I saw a copy of that game. So who goes there is the better game, I Right, think. so we, if that's the one I'm thinking of, we played that game a couple of times yeah. and won and never. We never beat the game. Right. I never remember beating the game. Yeah. I remember we would always lose out by the end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that we would always get oh, taken tough. over by the thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough game. I got to show my friend Luis this movie in the theaters in his birthday. <laughs> oh, nice. I don't remember that. All right, let's move on. Because I don't are, remember that. I we're, remember. We're, I remember you being very absent at my birthday, not, Tony. Not you. Oh, Luis. <laughs> let's move on because we are. This we're well, gushing a lot, and we're starting to run out of time. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> um, we're, it's my turn. It's your turn. Yeah. Oh God, what was I doing next? Bum. <laughs> bum, bum. Uh, wow, I'm drawing a complete blank. Do you want me to go on my last one then? So <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay. For some uh, reason, I'm drawing a blank. So the last movie is not. It's not scary. It's a little more unsettling than oh, anything right, else. Right. But the point, the reason I put this movie here is just because it's Halloween doesn't mean that the movie can't be a little weird or goofy or cheesy. Right. So I chose Manos colon The Hands of Fate. <laughs> Manos. The now, hands I had of not fate. seen this movie up until maybe five years ago or something yeah. like that. Uh, on, actually, on your recommendation, <laughs> so bad. you and a friend of ours, Frank, yeah. who we, we uh, hang out with, you guys recommended the movie to me years ago, and right. I remember watching it, thinking, "Oh my god, this is really good in such a bad way." Yeah, it's so yeah. it's definitely so bad. It's good. Yeah. Um, I I wasn't. I'm still not clear on if the guy was he a vampire? Was he a <laughs> warlock? I'm not. I think it was sure. like a war, I think it was like a warlock slash yeah, demonic guy or something. I don't know. Yeah, cult, cult leader. He's cult leader. He has like a polygamist yeah. polygamist sort of like. He's got like a lot of like female wives and and yeah. things like that. That he, he when he lures people into his house, like what he basically it? takes like the female. What is this movie called? Manos, Manos the, the Hands, Hands of, of Fate. fate. And it, he, it was made off of a bet. Some guy, <laughs> nineteen sixty six. Wow. Yeah, nineteen sixty six. Some guy oh, that lived yeah. in Texas who I think actually ran a propane place. <laughs> Very uh, Hank King, Hill. Yeah, I made that movie. I, it had something to do with basically he said I could make oh, a movie yeah. that's easy. There's, there's Making a movie is easy, and he made Man of Stands of Fate. There's an MS-23 cave that's... I, there is. Yeah, yeah I, I did see I that version see it, as well. I did, like, yeah. I did pass by it once. Yeah. It does have well, a sort I mean, of an unsettling feeling to it. In his defense, he did it. Yeah, he did he do it. He made a movie, and look, people are talking and about it. People are still so, talking about it in 2021. Good on yeah. him. I mean, it's a very show-offy thing to do. Like, <laughs> I could make a movie. It's so easy. And it's like, yeah, well, we're talking about well, it. Well, he so did he, do it. Yeah, he succeeded. He did succeed. So there's that. It is sort of an unsettling but also silly it's movie. it is a uh, like it's it, weird. This guy, he's got a, a a robe that looks like a like a poncho. Yeah, but it's got like and, two and it's got red like hands. a big. It's got no. It's got one big red hand. No, it's like two. It's is like it two each, or is it? Yeah, because when he opens up, it's like two. Two it's like this. From yeah. what I seen, well, from what I just saw on Google, like yeah. it's it's like a, it's not a cape. It's yeah. like a, it's like a poncho. It's like a poncho robe cloak slash, thing. Yeah. yeah, it's it's really weird. I remember the one hand, but there are like hand. It's like a black cloak with like red hands yeah, on right. it. It looks really stupid and cheesy, nah. uh, and it is. It's definitely a and movie. Torgo, Torgo was supposed to have goat legs. Originally, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's definitely a movie you 
partake in adult substances or something with like you know like alcohol, <laughs> and you have fun like alcohol with it, yeah. or something, and you hang out with friends and you just sort of riff on it. It's, it, it it's is, definitely a very yeah. silly movie. All right, um, um, I'm ready. Remember? You ready? Yeah, I'm do right. it. I'm trying to pick up because I know we're running late too. Um, 1978's George Romero's masterpiece. Dawn of the Dead. Mm. Um, I'm wearing the t-shirt. Um, that movie, even though by today's standards, the zombies look very cheesy. It's, it's hard to it's take still, the first one seriously. It still now. works. Yeah. yeah, it still works. Um, I mean, the first one still works. The first one's know, fantastic. The, yeah. the funny thing about it is I think the mistakes in Dawn of the Dead actually help make the movie work. Those mistakes being the fact that... Um, for time reasons and Tom Savini still being new to movie makeup, whose primary practice and, and application had to do more with theater and stage makeup. Yeah. Um, the gray makeup they use, they never really did adequate camera tests. So the makeup he used looks inconsistent depending on the lighting. Sometimes they look green. Sometimes they look blue. Sometimes they just look gray. Um, the blood, they use 3M stage blood, which apparently looks great. But when you put it on camera with lights, it looks garish, like melted crayons. Yeah. <laughs> but it sort of fits for the movie because the movie tends to be kind of bright anyway. Mm -hmm. And it was meant kind of as an adventure romp, kind of adventure horror. Right. Which, yep. yeah, that feeling's definitely there. Oh, yeah. Um, Especially when they so, get okay. them all for the first time. Right, right. So I'm, uh, I, I'm thinking about this movie, and I think I'm, I'm mixing it with the other movies. This is the one where the, the one the one we joke about the Shakespearean actor guy. No, that's who looks Day like of Jason the Dead. Mazzucas. That's, 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 that's Day of the, of the Dead. Day of okay. the Dead is still I'm awesome. getting my yeah. Those zombies of in the that, Dead movies. Yeah. The zombies in that up. look much better. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, uh, which I think was done by a very young Greg Nicotero, who's actually yeah. in the movie as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the uh, uh, the zombies and the makeup effects. I mean, they're great, and some of the effects are very visceral and right in your face and disturbing. Um, the bites, especially, it's just like oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know. But they also did in this movie. It was also about like let's just how how bizarre. What is the weirdest way we can kill people or zombies? And like every time somebody dies, it's something more bizarre. Like. They blow somebody's head off in one. They drive a screwdriver in another zombie's oh. head, which that zombie actually is John Harrison, who directed the Sci-Fi Channel version of Dune, <laughs> and he did the soundtrack for Day of the Dead and a few other movies. Yeah, oh, I know. whoa, 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 wait! Right, right. The guy who did the same soundtrack for Day of the Dead did uh, he directed this, this, the made-for-TV Dune? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, John Harrison, yeah. <laughs> um, because I actually like the Day of the Dead. Yeah, soundtrack. The, I you know the the handyman zombie that sort yeah. of jumps out of the mannequins and they put the screwdriver in his ear. Yeah, that's John. Harrison, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, that's just they kill people in such unusual ways. But even like when they shoot them in the head, it's just like looks really. It's like small hole, bunch of stuff comes flying out. It's like kind of crazy, <laughs> you know. Oh, and there's the uh, iconic death scene where someone tests out their uh, blood pressure and it just gets torn <laughs> apart in the machine. Gets torn apart in the machine. <laughs> <laughs> and his, yeah, his arm's still in there, and the blood pressure is like zero, 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 and it's like boo. <laughs> just yeah, they actually rip somebody apart in camera for a want to say one of the very first times ever just rip open his chest and stomach and it's it's gross yeah it's pretty gross. Right. gross. A young tom savini yeah very young tom savini he gets to play a, a biker, biker as well yeah. yeah he plays one of the biker gang i mean it's just a great and, movie it's all right just, listen 9 11 dead and this was like the foundation for a crap ton of zama video games yeah. and yes movies. Don't, yeah don't. if it wasn't for those two movies you would have never had resident evil or, or dead rising or, or dead rising or anything don't yeah. give me crap i haven't watched on of the dead which which one? What? I haven't seen Dawn of the Dead. This one, the original. Oh my god! So I've watched Night of the Living Dead, which is one of my absolute favorite movies. I saw that as a kid, and I watched Day of the Dead. Yeah, that's a, um, that's a great movie. That's a great too. movie. Yeah, uh, Night of the Living Dead, which isn't part of that series. The, uh, the Return, of the, Return of the Living Dead. Return of the Living Dead. That's a great film. movie. But I have Dawn of the Dead. I have not seen any version of. Oh, you need to see it. What? <laughs> So good. <laughs> what? Don't at me, guys. All right. Either. Um, if you have, if I, right. I will see it. Tony, Tony, Tony what's your last or you one? Can, you can play Dead Rising. And For, it's kind of yeah. what's, your what's your last one? <laughs> the one where they're stuck in the shopping mall? Yeah. Okay. I haven't yeah. watched it. All right, Last Tim funny. Burton's Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, I'm, I'm with it. Okay, I, I like so that. I actually like back, that movie. A little yeah. backstory for this. Um, basically, in middle school, I had to write a report on the story of Sleepy Hollow. And lucky for me, I had the Disney DVD of uh, I I I Ichabod Crane. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, I also found the DVD of the Tim Burton movie in my... <laughs> 
house. I'm like, huh, okay, I might as well check this out too. I'm like, holy crap, this has nothing to do with the actual story, but this is right, still yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Very little to do with the actual story, yeah. Yep. It's basically, what if the Headless Horseman was an actual monster? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's cool. Like, Dude, the whole man. Headless Horseman yeah. stuff is really good, yeah. And Christopher Walken. Yeah. Yeah. As a, as a yeah, he's person. good. Yeah. Wow. Like, the Hessian. Is, is, uh, who, like, is, uh, who is, uh, it, this is the modern one, right? Or yeah, is it the more modern one, mid, I guess. Mid-90s, right? yeah. uh, like, um, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp was Johnny in it, right? Depp, yeah. yeah, I seem to remember that. And yeah. Yeah. this, and like, I didn't, well, at first I didn't really notice it because I was in middle school, I didn't. But like, when I rewatched it later, like, yeah, this movie's like a heavy homage to the Hammer Horror film since, like, all a the, lot of ways, yeah. All the blood and gore is like super bright red. Yeah. Um, <laughs> really exaggerated. Um, a lot of it's used for comedic purposes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, yeah, Christopher Lee. He's the judge in the movie. He is. That's oh, right. Yeah. Okay. That's probably, maybe that's why. Yeah. It's good stuff, man. It's really good stuff. I have to watch that movie. I have, that's all new yeah, movie I haven't good. watched yet. Yeah. It's, I'm not a huge Tim Burton fan, to be honest. But yeah. That's a, me that's neither a good one. usually. But it suffers from less of Tim Burtonisms. And it tends to be kind of a mean spirited oh, yeah. movie, even, too. Oh, okay, even cool. Kids yeah, I'll totally movie. watch yeah. it. Kids I'll, aren't safe. Yeah. I'll give it a watch. Poor Casper Van Dien. He's in it. The yep. He, he didn't last long. Yep. <laughs> I love Casper Van he, Dien. He just seems like such a cool guy. He, he seems play, like yeah. he's an all right guy. He yeah. plays like the local tough that thinks he can handle anything. And, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he is no match for the Headless Horseman. I'll just he say might that. Be, he might actually be a vampire. He's, uh, he's still. <laughs> He still looks pretty, almost the same, <laughs> almost as, the same. as from an, um, um, Starship Troopers. Well, yeah, maybe. he was in Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 2 as Johnny Cage. And That's right. He's That's basically, right. he looks just like how he did in Starship Troopers, but just with a stubble. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Any, uh, any uh, honorable mentions before we get going? Return of the Living Dead. Return yeah, of the Return Living Dead, for sure, yeah. is such a great zombie movie. Um, yeah. um, Not a Romero zombie um, movie. Curse of Frankenstein, which is Peter Cushing. Jeez. Uh, uh, Christopher Lee. Christopher yeah. Lee. They switch roles. Peter mm-hmm. Cushing plays Dr. Frankenstein. And his yeah. version of Frankenstein is mean. Evil. Yeah, he is yes. mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would also <laughs> recommend, um, 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 where was I going? Where was I going? I had a movie and then it slipped away. It slipped away. What do you got? Do you have any honorable mentions? Uh, yeah, so Return of the Living Dead, for yeah, sure. Watch for that. Sure. Uh, Night of the Living Dead is still one of my absolute oh, yeah. favorite movies. That, ki- that movie Classic. blew my mind as a kid when I watched it. Classic. Um, the first Alien, I would consider that a horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good one, too. Yeah. An honorable mention, you know, what I would on- or you know what I would pick as an honorable mention? Would be the first Woman in Black with Daniel Radcliffe. It's very you gothic. You told me about it's it. It's very creepy. Yeah, you told me it was, it's, it was good. It's, you know, here's the weird thing. There's nothing that special about it, but I think that's why it works. Mm, <laughs> you know what okay, I mean? Okay, yeah. It's a haunted house movie, basically, kind of, and it's creepy. Yeah. It's legitimately creepy, and just, it's a good atmosphere movie to watch, and yeah, good for Halloween. It's a good for Halloween. Any any recommendations, Tony? The Stuff. The, the Stuff, stuff. Like if, yeah. If, yeah. If you're f- afraid of uh, corporate, yeah. corporate consumerism yeah. to an extreme, it watch is a criticism on corporate consumerism. And like yeah. scary, the, the the part that freaked me out the most was like I was watching stuff on Tubi for free because Tubi it's free movies with ads. Yeah. But, um, uh, right after, well, we all we already know Adam won't sit through an ad. <laughs> it's yeah. true, yeah. Right, right after I decided, I, like I was screwing around on YouTube, then I see an ad from Walmart, basically sugar-free ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. so I'm like, no, it's, it's real, it's totally real. <laughs> it's the stuff. <laughs> it's the stuff. Stay away. <laughs> all right, that's all we got. That's yeah. all we got. Yeah. Uh, anything Quick to plug? plugs? Uh, well, Toku Titan Cast. Uh, nice. My friend Titan Goji does the show. I, I can't. I kind of came up with the name. Nice. Uh, where's my check, man? Where's his check? <laughs> and, uh, Where, where's his YouTube here, here's check? His cool t-shirts, yeah, yeah. Cool t-shirts. Ooh, That's immediate. You, look at that. You're, you're cosplaying as the RX-78 already. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Nice. Gundam's also in Netflix. It's Watch that. COVID thing. appropriate? Yeah. <laughs> I am a Gundam. All right. I am a Gundam. All right. Oh, that's not how Gundams talk. Gundams talk. I, I, hello. I am a Gundam. <laughs> Please give me batteries. All right. All right. Uh, and it, you have anything to plug? I have nothing. Well, I mean, T oh, yeah. Public, Oddity Collectibles, Oddity Collectibles. GoFendlers, same thing. I got some of, T-shirts. This is not one of them. That's yeah, not mine. That this art is, is uh, by Jeff yeah. Zonro, who I met at G-Fest. Oh, okay. yep. I, yeah, this he, was a he, present. He, I don't know where he, she found it. He does, uh, he, he does good art. Cool. So I don't work on any projects, but I did just download a game called uh, Tales of Iron, which is a Souls game with uh, mice. It's like Redwall meets Dark Souls. 
Okay. Nice. Yeah, 2D plat- 2D sort of like oh, cool. platformer. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've only been playing it for like about a couple hours today. Nice. I just got it today. So nice. check it out. It was a lot of fun, especially Based. if you're good at Souls games. I'm terrible at Souls games. It'll yeah. probably take forever <laughs> for me to beat this game. So as I've gotten older, I'm like, I don't want to work this hard on I, a video game. <laughs> I think the fact that it's in two dimensions might make it a little easier for me as opposed to it being in like three dimensions where I got to like move around and stuff. And oh, boy. I'm really bad. I'm really bad at that kind of stuff. Fair enough. All right, guys. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, guys, have a have a happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. We're gonna have more Halloween shows in the pipe because yep. it's the spooky season. It's creep October. Creeptober. 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 I like it. All right, thank you. And I can do like a hillbilly like cannibal thanks. leg. It's it's creeptober. You look delicious. <laughs> nice. Mississippi mud man. Where's, Where's, my, my, uh, where's <laughs> my cake? <laughs> where's, where's my cake? My cake? <laughs> Creep show, man. Yeah. 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 Also, creep show. Watch creep show. That's a good. Right. Yeah. Good night. So good night, many good everybody. ones. So many good.